All right, this is actually a response to Lone Boy's Post 1975, who was asking uh, what games did you have as a kid that kind of sucked, um, and did you like them, you know, not just have them, but enjoyed them. And, <clears throat> whoa, hello. Uh, one of those games that I still like today, and I have mentioned it a million times <coughs> when joking on myself, um, is this one. I really like this game. Uh, Batman Forever. Uh, it's one of the things, like, I am a big fan of Mortal Kombat, and this has a lot of Mortal Kombat-style fighting in it. And, I don't know, I, I kind of, like, can't even understand why <coughs> people don't like it. I play it, I'm like, this is so fucking good. I'm like, how could you not like this? And, yeah, so, I, I really like this I even have a box copy of it, although I don't think it has the manual, but yes, this is my kind of all-time worst game that I like, I guess. There are actually people out there other than me that actually like the game, too. <clears throat> I was surprised to find that out. <laughs> Another game that I liked that a lot of people did not like, and I had this as a kid. I'm also, by the way, going to add in games that, or I'm going to try to remember to add in games that I don't have in the stack that I plan on getting. And also, I'm going to throw in at the end some games that I didn't have as a kid that I just a lot of people don't like and stuff, whatever. Anyways, so another game that I have that, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't really care for that I really, really, really like is this one. War Gods. I have this on PS1 as well as N64. Uh, but uh, as a kid, I played this on N64 and in the... I'm not... Uh, on PS1 and in the arcades. So, yeah. This, to me, I love this game. I have it on portable devices. I ripped it from my CD, put it on every possible emulator I could. I have the physical copies. I have the N64 copy. So, I would like to get one box for the N64 as well. So, there it is. I actually had two copies for the N64, but I think I gave one away or something like that. Um, <clears throat> this game, I don't know that it's a game that a lot of people hate, but it, it, this is like my favorite PS1 game of all time, and really, um, I don't know anyone that thinks this is the best PS1 game ever. It has crappy camera controls, and it's probably to most people mediocre at best, but I love this game. This is like my favorite PS1 game, and that is Nightmare Creatures. I love this game. This, to me, is like my favorite PS1 game. So, yeah. That's that. <clears throat> Here's another game people didn't really care for. And I just love every rail shooter just about that you ship throw at me. Um, this one actually does not work with a light gun, though. But it was in the arcades, and that worked with a light gun. But this version does not. Uh, but I love it, this game for, like, every system that it was ported to. I love every version of it, and I love the arcade. Somebody just recently actually showed me, sent me a video of themselves getting the arcade cabinet. I forget who it was, but they also got uh, Indy 500. They got a gutted, like, uh, cabinet or something like that. And that that was more important in the video. That, that was like, really? Indy 500? I want that. But anyways, this game. Revolution X. I love this game. Now, I love rock and roll. I love heavy metal. Uh, I like Aerosmith, but that's not why I like this game. I just like this game because I love rail shooters, but I really do like this game. So, but, you know, I don't think there's a rail shooter out there I kind of don't like, so... <laughs> there you go. It has to be really bad for me to not like it. And, uh, I don't know what to do to not like a rail shooter. <laughs> So another game that I actually had as a kid, but I didn't have it this specific version. I had it on PS1, um, and I actually liked it then. I don't think I really like it now, but because I liked it so much, there's kind of some kind of attachment where I had to... I do have to get it. I want it on PS1, but this came with actually a, uh, a lot of games that I bought for my Sega Saturn. And this game is a very budget kind of fighting game, 3D fighting game. That would be Criticom. I can't play this game. <laughs> it's actually terrible to me now, uh, but as a kid, I really liked it. But I think that's because it's like, you know, I didn't really buy my own games, and I didn't really have a choice of what to get. And 
or maybe so much, but you know, you know, it was easier to get cheaper games. So, <clears throat> yeah, I played what I could get, and that was one of the games, and I guess maybe I forced myself to like it, but it was, I thought it was really good. Uh, at the time, now I hate it. <laughs> but another game, this is a game that I don't know a lot of people that like any version of this game, let alone this version, but I like every version of this game, and me and Steve Benway are both in the same boat. We both like this game, and uh, I'd like to point this out. Oh boy, you know. Um, but I bought, got a box copy. Of this. I love this game, no matter what system you put it on, almost. Unless it's on some crappy portable version that's un completely unplayable. But some, pe some people consider this one unplayable. So, this. Hard driving. And I also like race driving. I want to get a copy of that. But Hard driving. Yes, I love this game. This is, I used to play this as a kid. I remember I used to, like, do stuff like, you know, you go up a loop and throw your car off the loop. I just love running over the cow and, you know, just doing stupid stuff you weren't really supposed to do in the game. Just seeing how you could crash and all that crap. So, I mean, they have better ways of doing it today. But, you know, this as a kid, this was like, holy crap, this is the best. I can crash any way I want. I would just love to crash. I don't think I ever actually beat it or, you know, I don't think I ever played it the way it's meant to be played, but I just loved crashing, jumping off of loops and stuff. So, this game I love. And I still love, and I have it on GameCube. It's the arcade version, but I also have this version. So, yeah, that's another game I really like that not a lot of people care about. Here's one of those crappy full motion video games uh, that, uh, let's see, that, um,. You know, some people actually like this game, but you know, I don't know that a lot of people like it. It has, you know, the bad acting, um, it's on Sega CD, and it's terrible video. Uh, I don't know if the audio is that bad, but it just, it's mostly bad, but once you play the game, when the gameplay I found really fun and addicting, and, you know, coupled with the, the horrible acting, that actually makes it better for me because it's so ridiculously funny that... I don't know, this guy screaming in your face about cleaning sewers. And that is Sewer Shark. Um, calling you dog meat and all that fun stuff, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, I love the acting because it's so fucking horrible that it's just, I can't not love the acting. It's just very comedic. And, yeah, there you go. Love this game. It actually has very fun gameplay. Um, another game. People, I don't know that everyone hated this, but this was considered to some people the worst game in the series, and it's my favorite, or maybe one of the worst games in the series, but it's my favorite game in the series. Uh, it's not a bad series. Uh, it's not one that, you know, is underrated or anything. It's probably, maybe some people might very much consider it overrated, but this is a game that I had as a kid, and it's my favorite one in the series. A lot of people don't really like this one, but yes. Legend of Zelda uh, 2. Or no, blah, 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 no uh, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. There you go. Um, yes, I would like a gold copy of this. I would like it boxed. I love this game. Um, it's my favorite in the series. And yeah, so that's that. So now I'm going to move on to games that I don't actually have that I would like to uh, get that people think suck. Well, of course, the race driving um, on the Genesis uh, Mega Drive, whatever. But, you know what? Because I can't actually put my finger on them, I don't remember them, I'll have to come back to them and try to think of them <laughs> while I'm, you know, waiting. Because I didn't actually prepare and think of the games that I uh, was uh, trying to remember. Yeah. So, anyways, here are some games that are n I didn't grow up with, but a lot of people didn't really care for that I really like. Here's a newer one, and that would be. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. I'm. I've watched all the movies, but I'm not like, you know, I wouldn't go to somewhere dressed up like a Star Wars character. I don't collect Star Wars memorabilia. I don't own all the movies. In fact, I don't know that I own it. 
okay, my camera cut me off again. And then it didn't want to focus. Um, so here's the game that not a lot of people liked. It's in the Star Wars. It's a Star Wars game. But here it is. I really, 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 really like this game. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Yeah, people didn't really care for this game. I thought it was a lot of fun. I loved it, and I beat it. It's fun. I don't beat a lot of new games. They're, they tend to be too long, and I'm too antsy. So, yeah, there you go. Another game that I didn't have as a kid, but I found it, and I think it's great. And I, I find it to be a little different than most things, but a lot of people said it's the same. I don't know. Um, and that's a, a Sega Genesis game, Maximum Carnage. And I love this game. It's great. Okay, I got cut off again, and I just had to empty out my SD card because it's just no space left. So I'm back again. So I was actually talking about this, and I was saying that I was originally going to say that, well, I did say, but it, I got cut off, that uh, this game I found to actually be very different from what I normally play. But a lot of people don't think that and think it's the same thing. Uh, that's basically where I got cut off, uh, so that's that. Then another game, this is a game that some people kind of like, but not a lot of people. And this is a PS3 game, uh, and this is Lair. This is one that Lone Boy's post said he liked too. Um, I remember him saying that in the video. <clears throat> but that game I plan on getting on 3DO, it's Killing Time. I actually really like that game. Um, I love the atmosphere of that game, and a lot of people really thought that game was crap, but I played it on an emulator, and I honestly really want that game, so that's really it. I can't think of anything else. My brain is shot. Yeah, people that are, you know, strung out on crack can think better than I can, so yeah, th there's my <laughs> response video, and um, yeah, so thank you for watching, and thank you, Lawn Boy Post, for the uh, video, and uh, I think this is my first response to somebody. I should really respond more because, you know, I feel like a bummer. Anyways, thank you for watching.